everyone, my name is Shara Ramos and today we're going to talk about the Tulip Nano Spin Crown System. I am Kelly Jefferson and I'm going to tell you about the four key benefits. They are the efficiency, peace of mind, competitive edge, and profitability. First, I'm going to show you what comes in the Tulip Nano Spin Crown System. It comes with a centrifuge, eight sleeves, eight tulip patented crowns, your 10 cc BD syringes, as well as your centrifuge caps. The first thing I'm gonna go over is the centrifuge. Where to plug it in? In the back of the centrifuge, it's a very light, compact centrifuge, so it's easily turned. There's a little plug slot here, and you just take the end of the plug, really simple, and pop it in, just like so. And you're ready to go. So I'm going to turn him around. I'm going to go over the front of the centrifuge. Here you have an on and off switch. To, to turn it on, simply lift up and you'll see the light come on. Here you have the run button and the stop button to run your centrifuge. Down here is the time in minutes. To adjust, simply push up to go in minutes, the up arrow or down arrow to go down in minutes. On this end, you have the RPM times 100. Same. To adjust, up arrow to go up in RPMs, or down arrow to go down in RPMs. The top of the centrifuge, fairly simple. L for lock, U for unlock. Simply turn it that way towards the L to lock. And now you see it's locked. To unlock, turn the opposite way and open it up and there you see the chamber. All of this is considered unsterile. You have eight slots so it can hold up to 80 cc's of your graft. Now let's take a closer look at the patented tulip crowns. The crowns consist of a base which looks like this has a U shape at the bottom and the head looks like a top hat. The crowns need to be sterilized before use. They should always be sterilized separately. To put the two together, simply screw on the crown head to the base. You need to prep your crown before centrifugation. To do that, you need your crown, a 10 cc BD syringe, and a red cap. They all should be sterile. This is a sterile field. To put the crown into the BD syringe, it has to be a 10 cc BD syringe. You're going to take the plunger out on your sterile field, remove the rubber stopper, Simply pinch and lift with the thumb. This is the easiest way to do it. Pinch, lift with the thumb. Not easy when you have gloves. Take your tulip crown, the base, you slide the U into your plunger. To lock it, simply twist the plunger. See, just like so. Go ahead and take the stopper and put it on the head of the crown and reinsert back into your 10 cc syringe. Oh, that happens sometimes. Make sure it's locked. There is a stopper here, just be aware. Go ahead and push the crown in and you're ready to receive your graft. Once you've gotten your graft, let's pretend there's some in here. Say there's 10 cc of graft. Take a red cap, go ahead and cap it on the sterile field. Pull that out, like so. To undo your crown base, twist, turn, and pull. This creates a closed system for centrifugation. Now you're ready to centrifuge. Now that we're ready for centrifugation, the sterile person will take their sterile sleeve that has been autoclaved 
and drop the graft into the sleeve. And then the non-sterile nurse will come over and open the chamber to the centrifuge. And the sterile person will come over and remember the centrifuge is not sterile, just the sleeves and your graft and drop it into the chamber like so. And please note, you always want to counterbalance either with a collar balance weight or a second graft to be spun. And the sterile person will then go ahead and put that in as well. And now the non-sterile nurse or circulator will close the chamber and start the process. The centrifugation is now done and processed. The unsterile nurse will then open the chamber. The sterile person will then retrieve the spun graft, either with a forceps or hemostat. Keeping the sterility without touching anything black, grab a forceps and go ahead and simply lift up and there's your graft and put it into your sterile field, like so. So once the process is done, if you removed your graft sterilely from the centrifuge, your graft should have three layers. The top layer should have an oily layer, the middle should be your nice graft, and the bottom is your infernatin. We need to get rid of the infernatin because we want the graft in the middle. To do that, you'll take your sterile ground body plunger and simply push and screw it back on like so. And we're going to expel that unwanted infernatin. Simply undo the cap and expel it till you see just the graft. So you'll push, leaving this graft. So go ahead and take a lower lower 2.4 anaerobic transfer. You can get this from Tulip on their website. Simply take the syringe of preference for the doctor to inject with and go ahead and push and pull. It's push, push here, pull here until you see the oily layer here. If that's the oily layer, stop there. You don't want to push it into the injecting syringe. Go ahead and unscrew and you have your graft ready for injection with a cannula. Now that you know how it works, I'm going to tell you about the four key benefits. Efficiency, it is compact, space saving, and very quiet. Gives you a peace of mind. The graft remains sterile with the patented tulip crowns, and it gives you the gratification of knowing the OR staffs are protected from the biohazards. Our competitive advantage, it sets your practice apart from others with our patented system. Patients are concerned now about safety, and you can discuss with them that your practice uses a system that protects the integrity of their graft. This will set your practice apart from others. Your profitability. The system helps speed up the procedure. There is a maximum cost of $29.60 per patient. And even considering the initial cost of the system, the purchase will become profitable to the practice after one procedure. Thank you for joining us today. I hope you learned a lot about our Tulip Nano Spin Crown System. For customized instrument training, our complimentary Z training is available using personalized one-on-one -on -one Zoom demonstrations provided by Tulip. Additionally, Fee-based training resources are provided through the San Diego Academy of Regenerative Therapies. These include the TORT program, training in your operating room by a qualified OR technician, and online masterclasses, now available on demand through the SD Arts online learning platform.